So for this problem to write the standard equation of an ellipse with given foci and the length of the minor axis, so first we need to graph this given. So this is positive y, positive x, negative y, and negative x. Then from the coordinate of foci, so this is x, x is negative 1, and y is negative 3. Then you connect, and this is now the point of the focus. Then the other coordinate of focus, so this is x, positive 7, and y is negative 3, then connect. So this is now the point of the other focus. Then since from this given, there is no center, so we need to find the center, and the center is the midpoint of this foci. So to find the midpoint of this foci, so we're going to use the counting method. So from this point to this point, and in counting, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8. Then divide this by 2 to find the center. So this is 4. Then we need to count 4 to locate the center. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is now the location of the center. And this is positive 3, 4, x. Then align to the foci. So align to foci. So therefore, this is now the point of the center. Then to find the coordinate for the center. So x is positive 3 and y is negative 3. So the coordinate of the center is positive 3 and negative 3. Then observe, since the foci is in horizontal position, so therefore this ellipse is a horizontal ellipse. And this is now the formula for the horizontal ellipse, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Then we need to find the values for h, k, a, and b. Since h and k from the center, so this is h and this is k. So h is positive 3 and k is negative 3. Then to find A, so these are the different formulas to find A and B. So for A, so that's from center to vertex. Since there is no given vertex, so therefore, we cannot use this formula to solve for A. Then the other formula for A, the major axis over 2. Since there is no given major axis, so we cannot solve for A using this formula. Then we need to find B first. So B, center to co-vertex. Since there is no given co-vertex, so we cannot use this formula to solve for B. Then the other formula for B, the minor axis divide by 2. So we have this minor axis, so we can use this formula to solve for B. So minor axis is 12, then divide by 2, so therefore B is equal to 6. This time to solve for A using this formula, so we have the square root of B squared plus C squared, but first we need to solve for C. That's from center to focus. So from center to focus, or this one, is equal to C. So therefore, 
c is equal to 4. So to solve now for a from this formula, so we have the square root of b squared. So 6 squared plus c squared, c is 4. Then this is square root of 36 plus 16. Therefore, a is equal to the square root of 52. Then this time, since we have now the four values, the h, the k, the b, and the a, so we can write now the standard equation for this ellipse. So from this formula, so we have x minus h, h is positive 3, quantity to the power 2, then over a squared and a is square root of 52, quantity to the power 2, then plus y minus k, and k is negative 3, then to the power 2, then over b squared and b is 6, so we have 6 squared then equals 1. Then to simplify, so we have x minus 3 quantity to the power 2 then over. So cancel now this radical. So this is 52 then plus y then this double negative. So we have positive. Then quantity to the power 2 then over. 6 squared is 36, then equals 1. So this is now the standard equation for this ellipse.